Planet Dolan. From building a unicorn army to being a naughty purple pen, the Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about our run-ins with creepy strangers. I'm Pringle the One, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 10 was submitted by Rush Zalaman. Once Ladybot was walking around town and a homeless man started walking behind her. Ladybot noticed him and started walking faster and faster. Eventually she started sprinting. She lost him. But about 30 minutes later she turned a corner and he was right in front of her. He was twitching and smelled horrible so she took out a pen just to put anything between them. He leaned in and Ladybot could smell the alcohol in his breath. He said, if you see a unicorn, look at it now. If it screams, banana is real. If it is real, train it like a dragon and bring it to me. We can build an army from the one unicorn. He then turned and ran down a dark alley and Ladybot never saw him again. She also never saw a unicorn. Number 9 was submitted by mm hehe. <laughs> Pandora was on the train going home with her friend after school when a man got onto the train and quietly sat next to her. There was nothing out of the ordinary, so Pandora and her friend continued to talk. Suddenly, the man turned to her and asked, My stop is coming up. Do you want to come with me? Pandora was shocked because he was obviously an adult. She was a high school student. Everyone around glanced at the man and went quiet, but just tried to ignore him and Pandora did the same. Two stops later, he turned to Pandora again and asked, So, are you coming? Once again, the car went quiet, except for a random lady who said, She doesn't want to go with you! He got up and left, and the remaining people on the train started talking about how weird he was to Pandora. Number 8 was submitted by Mysteria Keto. Mimi used to work two jobs, one at an arts and crafts store, the second at a sandwich shop nearby. There was a guy that frequented both places because, for some reason, he was fixated on Mimi. One day, he finally got up the nerve to talk to Mimi beyond normal customer small talk. The first thing out of his mouth once he broke that threshold was the creepiest thing Mimi ever heard. He told her that he liked her skin and that it looked like porcelain. At the time, she was kind of flattered because she had low self-esteem, but the more she thought about it, the more it creeped her out, and she's glad she never fell for it. Number 7 was submitted by the Anon Defender. When Dolan was walking home one night, he ran into a strange man wearing a hoodie. The man approached Dolan and asked if he had seen a demon before. Obviously, Dolan said he hadn't, so the man replied by slowly saying, I can show you one, if you won't. After that, he didn't even do anything. He just walked away cackling to himself. Number 6 was submitted by Von Miller is Cool. Zargonma was walking to school with a friend when they saw some guy hiding behind a bush. They walked by staring at him, and as they did, he got up and said, Oh, no, not the right body type. Later, Zarganma heard on the news that a guy from his neighborhood had been on the run from the cops. He and his friends are certain it was the man they saw that day. Number 5 was submitted by CattyCat980. When Doopy was 12, she was in the store checking something out when a woman came up behind her and said, I like your dress. Doopy was about to thank the woman for the compliment. When things got weird, the woman's voice got kind of sultry, and she followed her compliment up by saying, Of course, I like anything with lace. And then she rubbed her nipple. Even at age 12, Doopy definitely thought she meant something sexual, so she got in there pretty quickly. Number 4 was submitted by Dolan's Balls. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of funny. <laughs> Gooby was walking down the road to get some candy from the gas station one day when a hobo saw her and pulled her aside. And he didn't pull her off to the side, he pulled her into the middle of the road. And he started asking her, Is this money real? Is this money real? Gooby said yes just to get away from him. So he went back to his hobo friends shouting, I told you, now you have to give me that talk you stole from the store, you dumb slut. After that day, Gooby found a new road to walk down. Number three was submitted by Moonlight Faya. One time when Honeybits was 11 years old, she was walking downtown with her parents to go to a concert. She saw a man standing in the corner of the stairwell leading to the subway station. The man started yelling at a purple pen on the floor. He was saying stuff like, You've been a naughty purple pen. And, I won't let you bang my grandmother. He then slowly looked up at Honeybits. He smiled and said, Little girl, the purple pen has learned its lesson. And then he walked away. Number two was submitted by Fiend X. Sid was working at a Walmart when he had a middle-aged woman come by asking about phones. She talked about how she had someone calling non-stop and needed a way to block them. Sid told her they were out of the kind of messaging machines she needed. In response, she told Sid how if the man calling her were to visit her home, as he talked about, he would be left with the other bodies down in the basement. Sid stayed silent in pure confusion 
as the woman opened her purse, revealing a loaded gun. Sid started to freak out, but on the outside, he kept his cool and calmly scanned the phone and told her the machine would be in stock within a week. In response, the woman nodded and left with a normal, have a good day. That woman did not come back the following week. Number one was submitted by me, your narrator, Pringle the One. The weirdest thing a stranger ever told me was when I was walking from school one day and the stranger just came up to me and said, hey, you, yeah, you, the one walking to school. I need you to come check this out. I was kind of afraid, but I just walked forward because you just never know, especially around the neighborhood I was living in at the time. So I walked up to him and he showed me what he wanted to show me. And then he said, you see this? These are my purple drawers. When I wear these drawers, I can fly like an eagle. Yeah, and I want you to wear them. As soon as he told me to wear them, I immediately ran. Ran so far, you could see the fire coming out of my trail. I was gone, and I went straight to school and I told everybody about this crazy guy and his weird, nasty purple draws. Huge thanks for the folks over on our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What's the most embarrassing thing you've been caught doing? Let us know on the Reddit page link below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. Check out the latest Dolan Card update, Nixiumville. A new character, heaps of new skins, a new power-up, new level, daily missions, and offline mode. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care, everybody. Peace.